Well, it seems Osana has seen these impalas and is now moving and trying to kind of get around them and he went running off into this thicket. So I'm just trying to reposition so I can actually find him again. But he went from just sitting doing nothing to an explosive trot and is now kind of covered a whole bunch of distance and I don't quite know where he's actually gone. But this is exactly what I was hoping would happen is that he would see the impalas and look the impalas are now running. So they're running straight towards where Hosanna ran. I'm just going to turn off here because I don't actually know where he is and I don't want to ruin it for him any more than we might have already. But he was just running straight into this thicket. Where those impalas are is where Hosanna ran. Now I don't know what's spooked those impalas but something spooked them. I wonder if there's maybe not another leopard here somewhere. That's interesting because the impalas just went running straight away. They haven't seen anything. They haven't alarm called at anything. I can't see where Hosanna is in any way, shape or form. So I don't know what they've seen or what they're kind of running from. And it looks the way that they're running is almost like they're running from wild dogs. And that's the way that generally these impalas do run. Now, I don't see Hosanna anywhere here. Where have you gone? He's raced somewhere here. I don't know quite where. Maybe on the road again. I think those are impalas at this stage. I'm going to try and see if I can't get through here. Let's just try and get round. Where have you gone, Osana? I don't know if he chased these impalas quickly as they were running across because they kind of stopped and then ran again and I don't know if he was actually hiding in here and just managed to kind of chase them again. Somewhere in this lot. Ah, there he is, right in front of us. So there he is. He's watched all these impalas coming past now. I wonder if there isn't another impala lurking somewhere because he looks very intent. Look how he's stalking. See how he's getting low into the grass. Isn't this cool? Now, I know it's a shame for the impalas and that hunting is really, it's quite difficult for a lot of you to watch, but I always get excited when I watch Shongila or Hosanna hunt because it's almost like we're just cheering from the, for them. Just the fact that they've, you know, had it quite tough over the last few months, it's always good when they do start to get into stalk mode and I always wish that they're going to be successful just from their survival point of view. But look at his stomach. His stomach is not empty, empty, empty. He's really not that sort of, starving he's actually looking really good as healthy as any leopard that we see out here so he's done a fantastic job so far to sustain himself Ferg, I'm just gonna quickly go around here I, I don't see any impalas they all ran to his direction I think he must have just missed them because they ran literally right past where he was standing where we just found him so I he just didn't miss them as they came past and now he's kind of backtracking trying to see if there isn't any sign of more back this way almost worked for him because he just shot into this thick and i think he was hoping that the parlors were going to just come piling past him and he would be able to then find them oh there you are sorry boy i didn't see you there he's just stalking low down now what has he seen he's here on our right, right he's busy looking at, busy looking at he's low down in the grass now right down on the ground what have you seen Ferg, do you see anything no i also don't see anything he's right in front of us but the camouflage is insane so he's just here over my head so there you can see his little spotty bum sticking out of the bush and that white tail where he's just sort of watching what's going on and I don't know what he's watching but something has caught his attention close by. How exciting is this? Now he is directly over my head so I hope that my cap doesn't get in the way from time to time because I'm trying to stay as low as possible but I'm also quite keen to look around so if my cap does go through the frame I do apologize. But you can see why these leopards are such good ambush predators. Imagine trying to spot that. It is insane how easily he blends in. And this winter grass, this dry grass, and this time of the day when the twilight is in, it is almost impossible to see that cat. And you can see when Ferg does that, see how the spots just blend in with the dappled light, the darker and lighter tones that we see there? It becomes really difficult 
to see this cat in this kind of area. And so for him, this is a great area to hunt. And it's exactly what I thought would happen is that as animals started to come down to drink, so Hassan is now trying to start utilizing that to his advantage. What have you spotted, boy? problem is I can't see his face, which means I can't see if he's actually watching or if he's now gone back to sleep again. Because sometimes what will happen with a leopard is after a hunt, they then go into a place like this and then they just lie down and they actually start falling asleep. So I might just do a slight reposition just to see if I can't see where his face is and what he's actually looking at. Now, my windscreen wipers are going in all the chaos. I flicked my windscreen wipers up and they just all got a bit hectic there for a second. Ferg, am I good on your side? But there's definitely no antelope that I can see anywhere near here, unless he's spotted a little steering box somewhere in this grass. I don't see any sign of any antelope here at all. I can't even see his face, you know that. I'm gonna try and just get around here, Ferg. So he's actually really quite relaxed now. His face is kind of down, so I'm gonna go forward a little bit. There we go, Ferg, you should be able to get him from there. So he's not really in stalk mode at the moment. He's actually just watching around like he was earlier. So you can see his just ears are up. So he's alert and he's trying to see what's going on, but he's not in a full stalk. If he was in a stalk, he'd be flattened. His eyes would be low in the ground. He'd be trying to conceal himself as much as possible. You can also see the eyes are just shutting every now and then. And so he's starting to get a little bit sort of sleepy again. And that's a sign that he's not really in that hunting mood anymore. So the opportunity, unfortunately, went and he missed. But he must have been so close because those impalas ran right from where he emerged from the bush. He must have just missed one of them. Shame, boy. It would have been good if you had gotten that. Now, of course, the other problem for him is that big impalas are a difficult thing to get up a tree. And so, and so it would have been quite tough, even if he had killed an impala at this time of the day, because we know hyenas start to maraud around, and that would have been tough for him to get it up into a tree before they arrived and stole it from him. So maybe it's a good thing that he doesn't kill it now. He needs to kill it in the sort of early hours of the morning and get it up into a tree during the day so that he can keep his meal. Now, Lucy, you're asking if the black spots, the hair is shorter than the rest of the fur. Well, no, it's the same length. If you look around his face there, you can see that the fur itself is the same length as the actual black fur. The white fur, black fur is all the same. They don't actually have too much of a difference between the two. It's just a color pigment on the fur itself that changes why there's black spots and where there's areas that are not black spots. So that black area is just an extra amount of melanin in those hair follicle or those hair cells, and that causes black in there. But the f length of it is exactly the same, whether it is black or light colored but there we go back to sleep he goes so a moment of interest and a moment of chaos just turned into something a little bit more chilled now wow i'm hoping that one of these days we'll be able to watch this cat pull off a successful kill it's been lots of times i've followed him and, and had watched him hunting and he's come close a few times but just missed and so I'm hoping one of these days we'll be able to find him on a nice big impala kill that will be hoisted in a tree somewhere, and that would just be absolutely ideal. But you can see he's almost, he's also learnt in a way that vehicles moving and the noise of vehicles moving hides the way that he moves. And you'll find sometimes he moves when the vehicle moves. You see? Look. And this is a trait that his grandmother, Safari, used to use all the time. Every time a vehicle moved, she would move. If a vehicle was off, she, he would, she would lie down and use that to cover her noise. And I wonder if he's not learnt this a little bit from Karula. You can see, now he's stopped, the vehicle stopped, now he's stopped. It's quite an interesting way that they do things. Now, Ferg, I'm sorry that the bush is in the way. I'm hoping he's going to come through this clearing and we'll be able to see him. kind of behind the tree at the moment so I do apologize about the bushes it's unfortunately I don't want to move too much he's kind of slinking around a little bit and I want to allow him to get into a place where he feels comfortable and ultimately it looks like he's going to come out of that little bush anyway and go right into the gap so 
hopefully we'll be able to see him nicely in just a little bit I'm going to go up to that small mound there's a little termite mound in front that he might head to and in fact actually not too far from here is a rather large termite mound that I've seen him on I think three or four times now and he likes to spend time there so we're going to try and see if he is going to head in that direction but you can just see every now and then stops pops his head up looks what he's doing yep and up the mound he goes <laughs> I thought he might head up there and there he is I'm just gonna go around okay. so this is typical of a leopard using a point of it to get a vantage and to be able to see what's going on around them so often see this with leopards as they sort of head up and into these termite mounds areas so while we try and get to where Hosanna is and try and see if we can't get our infrared on to be able to follow him in the darkness let's go across the alley and see how she's doing